In this video, we're going to look at the history of Bitcoin through its transactions and get a timeline of the Bitcoin history. Let's get started now. I'd like to take you through a section I call a brief Bitcoin history primer as seen through its transactions. And one of the reasons why I want to do that is because Bitcoin is an open book and every single transaction that has ever happened in the history of Bitcoin is available for anybody to review on the public blockchain. So now I'd like to take that opportunity to go back to some very special moments in the history of Bitcoin, which are captured forever, permanently and immutably on the Bitcoin blockchain. For starters, I'd like to take you to January 3rd, 2009, which is the Genesis block. The Genesis block was where it all started, and that was when Satoshi Nakamoto mined the first Bitcoin block ever. Here is the transaction ID for the Genesis block, and what we will do now is actually go to a block explorer to review that transaction. When we review the block explorer for that transaction ID, we find that it is based on block height zero. This is the first block ever in Bitcoin, and you can see that it's timestamped January 3rd, 2009. It actually has an output of 50 Bitcoins, which was the Coinbase and the reward for Satoshi Nakamoto for mining this first block ever. Another fascinating thing about this specific transaction is that it contains a hidden message, which shows Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. And it puts a date, January 3rd, 2009, and it states the Times. This actually coincides with the London Times, which ran a cover story for Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. If you recall, we were in the middle of the financial crisis and from that depth rose Bitcoin. The second special event I'd like to make reference to is January 11th, 2009. And here's a transaction ID for that event. This was the first transaction ever on Bitcoin, which was actually a transfer of 10 Bitcoins between Satoshi Nakamoto and Hal Finney a cryptographer who was very closely tied with Satoshi during the whole development and early days of Bitcoin. We are now looking at the first Bitcoin transaction ever, which actually took place on January 11th, 2009. As you can see, the block height was 170, which was very, very early in the days of Bitcoin. The other thing would be that there are two outputs of which one has 10 Bitcoins. We know that Hal Finney received 10 Bitcoins from Satoshi Nakamoto at that date. And the transaction that coincides with what was commented uh, by Hal Finney and the discussions about receiving 10 Bitcoins coincides with this specific date. So through all the research that's being done, this would be a transaction of 10 Bitcoins that were sent from Satoshi Nakamoto to Hal Finney, preserved permanently on the Bitcoin blockchain. And finally, no Bitcoin history could be complete without making reference to Pizza Day. Pizza Day is celebrated every year on May 22nd, and it was actually making reference to an event that took place on May 22nd, 2010, which is when a developer named Laszlo Hanyex was able to negotiate and buy two pizzas worth approximately $25 for a grand total of 10,000 Bitcoins. Before this moment, nobody had ever bought anything with Bitcoins. So the fact that Laszlo was able to negotiate two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoins established the price of a Bitcoin. And when you peg the price and calculate it, it works out to approximately four Bitcoins for every one penny of pizza that he bought. So for those 10,000 Bitcoins, we have a permanent record which is captured on the public blockchain and you can see it at the transaction ID for that transaction. When we go to the block explorer and we look through the transaction, things that you can immediately see. The date does coincide with May 22nd, 2010. And we also see that it takes place on height 57,043. There are a grand total of 10,000 Bitcoins which are sent to one specific output address. And when you look through it, it took 131 inputs to be able to put together this 10,000 Bitcoin transaction that changed the history of Bitcoin forever. 
These are just a few of the important events that are captured forever inside the Bitcoin blockchain. Others include Mt. Gox when it went down. You could actually see the shifting of funds between different Bitcoin addresses. And important moments in history have coinciding events taking place within Bitcoin. You can see large moves of Bitcoin from one address to another. But more importantly, you can keep track of your entire history of all the Bitcoin that you've actually put out. And you can see where it goes. When you pay somebody in Bitcoin, you can see where did that Bitcoin wind up. You can shift all the way through Bitcoin because Bitcoin is an open book. And although nobody has to share their specific name, Bitcoin is not anonymous. Bitcoin is actually pseudonymous. And the Bitcoin blockchain presents a great opportunity to look through the entire history of Bitcoin as an open book. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world, one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.